Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers King Grimlock, issue number 4. In his towering citadel, the Golden One readies Arco for battle. Although she is a formidable warrior and promising student, his motives for bringing her into his fold are not purely noble. Arco may be a loyal follower of both the Golden One and Soltron, but her past allegiance to the Anti-Sun requires atonement through sacrifice. As he reveals this, the malevolent wizard gestures to a glass crucible, swirling with the living essence of Soltron's lifeblood. Meanwhile, outside the Red Wizard's castle, Grimlock, his newly formed Anglorian militia, and the remaining villagers of Valorift assess their unexpected victory. From the corpse of the Quintesson, the Dinobot warrior takes a small sample of the planet's natural lifeblood, recognizing it as a type of Energon. He soon realizes it is unlike the miraculous fuel that powers Cybertron. It is alive, and attempts to consume him as a living amorphous mass. Grimlock destroys it with his flame breath, concluding that the Energon here is tainted, its very essence poisoned. As they make camp for the night, Grimlock lays out his plan to village elders Norea and Arnak. If Mononia's magic comes from Energon, then the Golden One has a vulnerability. Norea adds that while Valorif's people exhausted their magic to summon Grimlock, Angloria has enough reserves to cast a spell of their own. This pleases Grimlock. His plan requires something only they can do. As the dusk settles in, Grimlock approaches the Golden One's citadel, sword in hand. The Golden One and his minions watch him approach, confident in their superiority. The wizard thanks Arco for predicting Grimlock's arrival. She sneers that his newfound compassion for the people of Mononia has dulled his once ruthless edge. At the castle gates, the Golden One's servant Clada awaits him, flanked by a monstrous army. But Grimlock has no intention of negotiating. He is there to overthrow the Golden One and free Mononia. Even the revelation that Arco has betrayed him does not shake Grimlock's resolve, nor does the army of orcs, ogres, cyclops, and gargoyles. Though outnumbered, Cybertronian steel holds firm against magical foes. As the battle rages on, Grimlock fights fiercely, buying enough time for his allies to cast a spell that triggers a solar eclipse, weakening the Golden One's magic. The wizard, taken aback, unleashes his most powerful spell, transforming himself into a colossal golden dragon. In moments, the dragon seizes Grimlock, dragging him into the sky, but Grimlock transforms into his dinosaur form and bites back. The Golden One loses control, crashing into his own castle and reverting to his true form. He conjures a blast, but it bounces off Grimlock's metal armor. Grimlock grabs the wizard by the throat, declaring that the planet's tainted Energon revealed the truth. Mononia's Energon is linked to Soltron, and consuming it has turned the ruler into an avatar of the malevolent god. Grimlock urges the Golden One to join him against the true threat, but the wizard warns that no one can face Soltron and live. As Grimlock releases him, two voices struggle for control of the wizard's body. One dark voice claims it has ruled Mononia since before the Transformers arrived, while the terrified Golden One admits he was merely Soltron's puppet. The battle for control is brief. Soltron, crackling with arcane power, seizes his mortal vessel and taunts Grimlock for abandoning his warrior nature to protect those too weak to fight for themselves. Defiant, Grimlock vows to fight to his last breath, in a final moment of clarity, the true Golden One agrees, recalling his oath to die for his people. Now is the time to fulfill it. A magical explosion forces Soltron from his host, restoring him to his true form. As the Golden One thanks Grimlock for freeing him, he passes away. From the tallest tower, Arco watches confused and furious at the sight of the Golden One thanking Grimlock. Consumed by her anger, she doesn't notice Soltron speaking to her, promising all the power she desires in exchange for banishing her fears. Desperate to silence her doubts, she accepts his offer. As Grimlock watches in horror, Arco is clad in magical armor, rising as Soltron's new avatar. Wow, alright, issue number four is in the bag. We've only got one more to go to finish this series. And I gotta tell you guys, I've been thoroughly enjoying King Grimlock issue after issue. I was a little concerned when I first came into this because I wasn't really sure I liked the idea of Grimlock being completely isolated from the Transformers in his own series. But for me, he really carries this entire story. 
I do like the direction that they've also taken the Arco character, but I wish that they gave us a little bit more time to really flesh out her internal struggles before they just made her some big evil villain. I think one of my favorite parts about this issue was the reveal of the Golden One's dragon form. He looks incredibly badass, and honestly, the artwork in all these issues has been so on point, it's really helped hold my attention while reading these. But let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this issue. Don't forget to like this video and sub to the channel for more. And stay tuned for my breakdown and review of the conclusion of Transformers King Grimlock issue number 5. I'll see you guys next time.